and girls. Uh, in this tutorial, a short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix your Windows problem, your system reserved problem. Sometimes when you update from Windows 7 in Windows 8 uh, system reserved partition, here it is, this, uh, it will be around uh, 100 megabytes. But this should be at least 300 and 50 megabytes. So the best way to increase increase the size, because in many ways I have I had tried to I had tried to upgrade my space here in System Reserve, but I didn't make it because I had I had fail failures. So I had shrink my C driver. I have shrink my here, but no way there was there there was no way to uh, shrink it. Or at least no easy way. So today I'm gonna show you the easy way to make it happen. The first, all you gotta do is to go at your start button, go to this PC. Note that we are in Windows 8, but I have uh, but I have installed my start button. Start is uh, back is the trial version. You can purchase it for two euros from uh, the company. I will leave you the link below or I will make another tutorial for this. But this time we are gonna talk about system preserve partition. All you gotta do is to go at your start button, this PC, right click and go to manage. The management window will open and go to your disk management and here you have you will have a pretty much one big idea of a big picture of your drivers in your system all you gotta do after this is to go at your data epsilon or data d I know for many people this is data d or another letter I don't know uh, this is the Windows drive well don't touch this better for you and go here and go and say shrink volume shrink the amount you you will need to extend your system reserve partition that is I don't know 350 megabytes or 300 megabytes this is in your hand after this all you got to do is click shrink and this automatically will be uh, will be done from the from Windows. After this, all you gotta do is to uh, download a program that is called Mini 2 Wizard Home Edition. I will put you a link in the description below the video. And uh, just click on it. You gotta download this software and after this, and install it in your computer. This is very, very easy. And this is the easiest software you can use. Even if you are a beginner, this is pretty much like a game. So you gotta open this software. Well, you have not to download uh, the professional version. All you gotta do is to download the free version for you because this is our, some difficult tools to use. So you don't need them. Only if you are a professional. So, all you gotta do here, it should appear somewhere, are an allocated space. And if that was present here, all you gotta do is to go at your system reserve, click on it, right click and say extend. Here you have some choices in the screen. All you gotta do is to choose the drive, here it should appear our unallocated space. Okay, and uh, let's see in our case, well, there is not an allocated space this time because I don't have make an allocated space to, to, to work with, but uh, you got to click in your unallocated space and put this thing, this, to the end, here, to get all your unallocated space and to make it uh, happen. 
After this, all you got to do is to click OK, and this button here, Apply, it will be green. OK. You got to click this, and your computer will ask for you the permission to restart, or will say to you that you have to restart to make your uh, extension. OK. This today at the morning was 100 megabyte, now it's 450 megabyte. So after this you got to restart and automatically the software will uh, do the job for you. But after this you will have some errors in your C drive because that was changed. All you got to do is to go at your start button again or click by holding the Windows tab and X and this will open. Just click on command prompt admin, administrator, and after you have done the, you have all the space in order and everything is perfect, just type in this chicken disk. and hit enter. This will open and will ask you if you want check this cannot run because the volume is user because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time when your system restart? All you gotta do is to hit yes, enter and restart your computer and automatically the errors will be just fine will be corrected automatically by Windows and there is no better tool than the Windows tool for Windows. So this is pretty much the way how you can fix your system reserve partition when you upgrade uh, usually this happens when you install uh, your uh, your Windows directly from uh, uh, an ISO file and when you do that system reserve partition it it remains the same as in the previous version, that is Windows 7. Well, this is the fix. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please, please leave a comment and I will explain you better. If you like something else to be explained by me, uh, well, leave a comment in my videos and I will make a tutorial for this. And that's, just, that's a big pleasure for me because you will give me an idea in what type of tutorials uh, the people need me and wants me to make just to be better in uh, this way. Thank you very much and uh, goodbye.